So former Trump associate Michael Cohen suggested today on MSNBC that Donald Trump gave himself, his kids, and Rudy Giuliani secret pardons, what he calls pocket pardons, before he left the White House and will only ever find out about them if and when Donald Trump and those other people are charged and or convicted of federal offenses. And here's what he said. I want to read out what he said on MSNBC. He notes here, what are we missing as Americans? And I kind of think I figured it out. I think Donald Trump has actually given himself the pardon. I think he also has pocket pardons for his children and for Rudy Giuliani. And it's already stashed somewhere that if and when they do get indicted and there's a criminal conviction, federal criminal conviction brought against him, he already has the pardons in hand. So I started searching over the weekend for whether or not the Constitution requires that pardons be disclosed to the American people and to the press, and I couldn't find anything that said it does, and that to me is more in line with what George Conway is trying to say about how Donald Trump doesn't care about the law, how he will skirt the law, how he will do anything to benefit himself, and that includes even, you know, doing something like this with a pocket pardon, he said. And so in essence, the, the argument from Cohen, which is at least speculative at this stage, is that Donald Trump and his close associates like his kids and Rudy Giuliani, know that taking a pardon, especially a preemptive one, basically it means you're either guilty of something or you're really, really, really afraid of being seen as guilty. And so you're covering your butt preemptively. And so if you do that, the public and everyone else is going to see you as 100% up to something sketchy, at least, at least. And so, hypothetically, if you wanted to give yourself the legal protection of a pardon without the political and social and economic baggage of a pardon, well, you give a secret pardon. And as noted, and, and I've been reading up on this, no one can clearly say that a pocket pardon is 100% guaranteed black and white to be invalid. Because the thing with pardons, and we've been talking about this, guys, is that pardons are based on a lot of good faith that except for pardoning impeachment, the power basically seems to have no limit. A president can pardon anything as long as it is an impeachment and as long as it doesn't go to another jurisdiction. So if it's anything federal, it seems like the president can pardon however many he wants in any way he wants. And that yes, may include a self pardon and that yes, may include preemptive pardons, and that, yes, it may also include secret or covert pardons that have been stashed away for a certain amount of time or until needed or what have you. And if these things are challenged, well, that'll go to the court system, and I don't know how the courts would rule on that. Maybe a more conservative-aligned court would protect a conservative president. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. But the point is, I don't think this is totally off base. You might say to yourself, didn't Cohen basically go to jail in part because he was a liar? And, and yeah, he did. So you might say, oh, this guy's not the most trustworthy guy. But I say that when it comes to knowing Donald Trump's dirty laundry, there are few better than Cohen. Outside of the core family and the core associates that were working with him, you know, a few weeks ago, I can think of few better than Cohen. This guy basically went to jail because he was helping Trump keep the dirty laundry secret. So when it comes to knowing Trump's specific dirty, you know, closet skeletons, what have you, or when it comes to understanding how Donald Trump would do evil, then I think this guy is near the top of the list. Did this happen? The thing is, we'll probably never know unless Trump is charged and convicted of a federal crime or his children are Rudy Giuliani, upon which time the pardon will be released. Because again, the whole point is you keep it secret to absolve yourself of the political consequences of a pardon while still giving yourself the legal protections. So we'll have to wait and see. For my viewers that are regular to the channel, let's put a bookmark in this video. I think this is probably unlikely that we'll ever hear about a secret pardon, whether they exist or not. But if they do, mark my words, I want everyone to come back to this video and say, you know, Christo, you were one of the first people to talk about it. I think this is more plausible than, than, than maybe a lot of mainstream media will make it out to be. And Michael Cohen, when it comes to getting down in the muck with Trump, knows better than most. Look for this as a possibility.